Yeah, that river's looking full right now. All right, let's hope it's not too bad. definitely fuller than I've ever seen it. Wow. Yeah. This is definitely a very pretty place. Well, you stay on your side of the road when you go around corners. <laughs> People like to cut corners. Don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Okay, so this first water crossing isn't too bad. Definitely wider than it usually is. too deep but well, let's go for it I think it's not too bad there we go that one's doable okay this looks sketchy potentially very slick so I'm gonna start high give that a feel real quick with my feet. Pretty grippy, which is good. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that current. Yep, gonna have wet feet. I think I'm just gonna go for it quick so I don't. Less time to... Sorry, my... Kickstand switch is messed up. There we go. Less time to slide out. Okay, that was easy. That was super easy. Yeah, water crossings are definitely like my weakness as far as my riding ability goes. Like, I live in a desert, you guys. I don't do a lot of these. Um, but this year I am because had the craziest winter we've, I've probably I've ever seen in my life as far as I can remember so I talked to some guys in side by side and they said they think it's probably gonna be pretty clear they live in the area so as far as snow goes we'll see about the water but yeah that first crossing or that second crossing was a little scarier but not honestly not dangerous at all it was just fine a little worse but honestly not bad it's a big rock right there oh yeah not too shabby not too shabby eh for some reason that concrete makes me nervous because I've just seen videos where the concrete I think the concrete gets moss on it I think is when this happens is they just get so slick it's unbelievable but luckily here in Utah, we don't get a lot of moss. Is that it? That looks like it's been closed. Nope, 
here it is. This is it. Or how bad? Oh yeah, not bad at all. Nice. It is a little deeper actually than I looked up there. Pretty deep, yeah, but not too shabby. Heck yeah. Here's where the trail starts getting gnarly. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. I love this stuff. Looks like they were trying to build dams or something right here to control the water flow. That's a lot more rutted out than it used to be. <laughs> I'm sure you guys could, could guess this, but man, I love the KLR stump that dot, 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 you know when it's when you're just idling or going slow love the way that it just it's just confidence inspiring you hear that engine thumping away and you're just like mm, i am a-okay close the gate i'm gonna take the cow trot thing this is new this wasn't here before maybe it was i don't remember i think it was actually looking at the amount of rust that was on that fence makes me assume that it was it's been there for a while Starting to speed up a little bit now. Getting a little more confident. I'm so weird. Like, I'm more confident when I write sketchy stuff. Like, it just demands it, I guess. I don't know. But I get in this, like, mindset where I'm just focused, you know? <laughs> that was a sharp rock. Firm. That was pretty rough through there. <laughs> Might not have looked it, but it definitely hurt my ankle a little bit. Oh yeah, that is a rough section too. Oh. Whoa. See that? That's a sketchy rock. <laughs> Didn't see that one. You gotta love those when you hit it at a weird angle and you just send you all weird. Dropping it. Heck yeah, KLR! Jumping! Yeah, this whole trail is way more rutted out than usual. A lot of water runoff. And I'm guessing that we're gonna be getting a lot of that. <clears throat> this trail does kind of serve as a river of sorts at certain times of the year. Um, it's looking to me like there's not a lot of runoff coming down anymore, which gives me hope. Makes me think that the snow's all melted. Most of it at least. But you never know. There's always that really poorly placed patch of snow that you know was in the shade just right or something. It gets left behind. Stops motorcyclists from having their fun. Oh, that was a stick. Just bonked me right in the head. <laughs> the power of a helmet. Yeah, I've got to say, this bike, KLRs are so good. They're such good bikes. Uh, they get so much flack and it bugs the heck out of me. Because they're so good. Start getting towards the top. Sit down again, rest my feet. I didn't wear my motocross boots, and so that makes my feet go numb quicker because the motocross boots have a little more support than just your standard work boot. Why I didn't wear my motocross boots? I don't know. Just didn't, I guess. And here's the top. Boots are feeling loose because they're all wet.
there's this really cool camp spot that's just that way a little bit. I don't want to take you guys back there at some point. But yeah, you can't beat this. That is just, wow. So special. Insanely pretty. Like serious jumps, you guys. <laughs> I think this is from the snow melting and pulling dirt down. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun! Wow. got that image stabilization but yeah this place is rough <laughs> yeah this is quite the place I think I'm gonna roll up there and just hang out for a second My boots are full of water, <laughs> but that is not what I should be thinking about right now. Look at that. Wow. This place is awesome. And there's so many places like this up here, just all over the place. 